Backstage Information The Patriots roster assembly has been stirring up the days at the club a lot and with this new confirmed information, it was no different. Check it out now. The New England Patriots list of free agents may lack blue-chip star power, but it still features some valuable members of the team. Among them is Jonathan Jones, who served as a starting cornerback in 2022 and led the team with four interceptions. Jones is scheduled to enter unrestricted free agency for the first time in his career on March 15. The Patriots would like him to return but are apparently willing to take a patient approach. Despite the market opening in less than two weeks, the two sides have yet to conduct any substantial negotiations. If you are a big Patriots fan, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to stay informed about our team. A recent report by Karen Gerichan of the Boston Herald outlined where the two parties stand at this point in time. To this point, there's been little movement on cornerback Jonathan Jones, who along with Jacoby Myers, stand as the top Patriots set to hit the market on March 15. According to a source, the Patriots have indicated they'd like to have Jones back. At this stage, however, there have been no substantive talks to that end. While there has been a lack of movement, the expectation is that team representatives led by Director of Player Personnel Matt Groh will meet with Jones Camp at the Scouting Combine in Indianapolis. Jones originally joined the Patriots in 2016 as a rookie free agent. Over the next few years, he developed into an important piece in the team's secondary. First making a name for himself as one of the better slot cornerbacks in the NFL, he transitioned to the perimeter in 2022 after the team had lost Jay at C. Jackson in free agency. Even though he lacked experience playing on the outside, Jones played some solid football. While not a true shutdown cornerback like expatriate Stefan Gilmore, or a consistent ball hawk like Jackson, he was a mostly reliable presence in New England's defensive backfield. According to Pro Football Focus, he surrendered 47 catches on 87 targets for 547 yards and 6 touchdowns, while also notching the aforementioned 4 interceptions. Additionally, Jones scored a pick 6 and forced 3 fumbles. He ended the year first among the Patriots' cornerbacks, with 914 defensive snaps played over 16 games. Jones set himself up well for his first ever trip to free agency. At the end of the day, however, his preference would be to return to New England. I would hope so, he said earlier this offseason. That's where I spent my career. It's what I know. It's what I love. New England is home for me in that aspect. So, we'll see. We'll see how free agency turns out, and we'll take it from there. With both sides having expressed interest in continuing to work together, the basis for a deal appears to be in place. Of course, free agency follows its own rules. Jones returning is therefore no guarantee, especially if the Patriots do follow a familiar and often used playbook, allowing the 29-year-old to test the market while simultaneously keeping an open line of communication. Do you, fan, think Jonathan Jones would be important for the Patriots next season? Comment below. If you are a big Patriots fan, subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell to be part of our community and not miss any new videos. Thanks.